Hello, Maya, Olof, and Lavi. How are you guys? I'm also fine. So, after my day, Maya has joined with us. Maya, how do you join? The previous classes? What, sir? Why did you not join the previous classes? Because there was the problem of my mother's mobile, that's why. Okay. Many days you did not join and you have missed many, many different So now everybody please take magic place book. Hurry up. Magic. Wait, wait, just let me check. So hello, listen, the story, everybody, the story is on a famous person. His name is Nelson Mandela. The story is on his childhood. Very fantastic story. You, you will learn many things about his childhood, how he passed his childhood. Very fantastic story. So all of you start reading from page number 103. As a childhood, I spent my days in the grassland, playing and fighting with the other village boys by five. I become a hard boy looking after sheep and cliffs in the field. I love caring for these animals. I saw them as a source of food and wealth, a blessing from God and cause of happiness in the field. Can I start now? Yeah, you can begin. I learned to play with a slingshot to gather honey and roots to drink warm milk straight from the cow, to swim in fast flowing streams, and to catch fish with a twin. I also thought to fight with sticks and become quite skilled at it. I could strike in one direction then quickly step away in another for these early days i become fond of open space and the simple beauties of nature as boys we create games of our own my friends and i play with toys that we made ourselves we made animals and birds out of clay and ox drawn, cut wood of trees branches. Nature was our playground. The hill above Kunu were kunu, dotted. Kunu, kunu. Kunu, kunu. kunu were dotted with smooth light gray rocks. This became our roller coaster. Okay, you stop here. Maya. You 104. You start from 104. Nyamul, page na, buzzword book. Nyamul, buzzword book, page number 104. Yeah, you okay, start. Okay, sir, bring in my book. Yeah. So can start. I start? Yeah, Maya, you start. We sit on flat stones and slide down the face of large rocks. We taught ourselves to ride by sitting on kelps. After being thrown to the ground several times, we become better at the game. One day I learned an important lesson from a wild donkey. We had been talking stones climbing up and down its back. When my chance came, I jumped on the donkey and it bolted into a nearby thorn bush. Bush, it bush, bent bush. It, its head bush. It bent it, it head and kept trying to throw me off. Uh, in the end, end yeah, yeah, from after games. Yeah, after games. Hello. Give attention. Second, you tell me again. Page number 105. After yeah, games. Sir, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Page number 
Page number 105. So, we will take your copy and get ready to write something on this chapter. Okay, it is here. So, look, what is this? This is a very fantastic lesson. Okay. So, it is called creative questions with answer. Basically, in creative questions, we don't give any answer. But up to grade four, we give the answer for creative question. This kind of creative question is called creative question with context. Okay, look at here, here's a line. I saw them as a source of food and wealth, a blessing from God and a cause of happiness. So here is three questions. Question number one, who is the speaker talking about? Number A's answer is here. The speaker is talking about sheep and cows in the field. Number B, what did the speaker learn in childhood? The B's answer is here. The speaker learned to play with slingshot to gather honey and roots to drink milk straight from cow to swim in fast flowing stream and catch fish with a twine. He was taught to fight with sticks and become quite skilled at. Number C. What did the maid with clay? The answer is here. The maid animals and birds out of clay and ox drawn starts out of Three branches. Start writing the question answer. We have a lot of things in the next page. This is not the only word. Next page we have another word. So hurry up, start writing it. Sir, can I write like this that this is a question and then next uh, the answer we have to write? Yes, you can follow this way. Uh, how I wrote, you can follow this way. So we have to write question also. Of course, if you don't write question, then how will you understand what you are memorizing? So look, what is this? These things are called singular and plural. Look. Here is written that change the change these words to their plural forms by adding s, yes, des, or i, e, s. That means you have to add s, e, s, v, e, s, i, e, s. So look, singular and plural. Okay, crowd, crowds, body, bodies, i, e, s, thief, i, e, v, s, thief, who, who. Potato, potatoes, sandwich, sandwiches, suitcase, suitcases, start writing. You give the answers. Yeah, I give the answer so that you can memorize clearly. I catch the flight. Okay. So I fish. Then the next question is that what did they make with the clay? Yeah. They made they made animals and uh, birds out to clay of clay of ox 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 drawn car, uh, then car out of the tree branches. Okay. Now can you say the question answer? 
What? Can you say the question answer? Maybe not. Question answers. Yeah, question answer. I don't memorize. I only memorize the singular. Okay. So, Mahia, uh, then I'm going to ask you the singular and plural. Okay. Say. Okay. Proud. 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 Army. Wh what? Army. 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 Armies. Thief. Thief. Thieves. Say the spelling. Thief. T H I E V E S. Thieves. Okay. Then hoof. H double F. Hoof. Hoops. The spelling. Uh, H double O V E S. Hoops. So let us start. Body. Hello, sir. Body. B O D Y. Body. Singular. We, we just make it plural. Say. Can hear you clearly. Body. B O. A R M I. Uh, e S. Good. Army. Come to the next one. The last one for you. Crowd. Crowds. Spell it. C R O W D E S. Mm -hmm. Not you will not come here. C R O W D S. Crowds. Okay. Got it. Sir, can you ask me? Okay, Namal, get ready. Singular to plural. Okay. Thief. Make it plural. Whenever I ask him, he just 